Hello, today I'll be making Ankara look 9 and it's a milkmaid inspired dress for basically any casual outing that isn't formal or anything like that. So we'll get to the tutorial in a bit but I just want to say that we have one more look to go. Let me know what your ideas are in the comments for what I should make in look 10. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started with the tutorial. As usual, I started with my basic bodice pattern. First thing I did was to measure the depth of my neck at 9.5 inches. I measured a depth of 6 inches at the shoulder and I used my pattern master to draw a curve representing the neck like this. Next, I found the midpoint of the length of my waist dart, then I drew a straight line there. I then measured 1 cm on both sides of the legs and I connected them to the waist. I measured one inch inwards from the armhole then I drew a fairly straight curve back to the side seam. At the side seam, I measured one centimeter inwards and I drew a line down to the waist then I cut out the pattern. I slashed the pattern at the waist dart divider then proceeded to label each piece so that I could make sure not to lose them. I moved on to cutting out and throwing away the waist dart at the bottom piece so each piece looks like this. Then I added seam allowance. I drew lines on the upper body's part on which I would slash the piece, numbered them, cut and spread them 2 cm apart. I decided not to separate 5 and 6. And I also added seam allowance and I cut. Now these are all three pieces of the bodies. On the back bodies, I measured one centimeter inwards at the side seam at the bust. I drew a line down to the waist, then I measured one centimeter on both sides of the dart at the bust area. I drew connecting lines to form a new dart. I decided to erase lines that no longer matter so I could have room to draw on the seam allowance. I drew on the seam allowance and it looks like this so I cut it out and we now have them looking like this. So I had cut out the fabric pieces and the lining pieces, the center front and the side pieces and I would stitch all of them together. The upper pieces also looks like this. I created gathers in the lower part for the both of them and I stitched them to the bottom bodies. I moved on to arrange the back pieces right next to them and I stitched all together in the order that they are placed on the screen. All done. For my skirt part, I folded the fabric on a bias, then I folded in a 2cm zipper allowance because this was the back skirt. I first measured the length of the skirt at 20 inches, then I drew a straight line to represent the top and the bottom of the skirt. I measured my waist circumference with a half inch seam allowance, the depth of my waist to hip which was 9.5 inches and I measured the circumference of my hip 8.5 inches. Next, I used my pattern master to draw the curve of the waist to the hip and flared out the hip to the hem of the skirt. I dropped down the pattern at the waist and I cut out the skirt. Next, still on the bias, I placed the back skirt on top of the fabric and I added half an inch to every proportion of the back skirt and I drew a new line for the front skirt and I cut that out. As you can see, I already fused lining to the skirts, so I slashed open the front skirt and then I stitched it back to make the front slit. Then I placed it on the back skirt, I stitched them together at the sides. Next, I put the skirt with the bodies and I stitched them together, installed the zipper and I top stitched the hem and the front looks like this. I measured a fabric 21 inches long and 4 inches wide and I folded it in half and stitched the length and one of the ends. There were four of them. I turned each one inside out and I pressed them properly to make a nice and neat finishing. And I pinned them to the bodies at the front and at the back. I had stitched lining just like the 
Ankara bodies so I put it on to the Ankara and I stitched the tops together and I turned it inwards next I stitched the drawstrings and used my loop toner to turn them both inside out and I inserted them into the top of the lining just next to the belts that I just stitched on it looked like this with that done, I made a stitch wide enough to make room for the drawstring to move between the Ankara and the lining. I finished off the lining by blind hemming it to the Ankara, top stitching the lower part and stitching in the ditch on the right side of the Ankara to keep both of them stable and together. And now the dress looks like this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I would see you in my next one. Bye!